It is the morning of April 15th, 2021, and I'm going to build my daughter a princess castle bed from scratch. This bed needs to have an undeniable presence when you enter the room. You need to look at that bed and be like, wow, that's a bed. She deserves an extravagant bed. We can't just do, you know, a sleigh bed. We can't just do a princess bed. We can't just do any sort of bed. How do you make a bed like that? You could buy one. Wonder how much that costs. Let's look that up. Hmm. Looks like we might spend $5,000 fairly easily. We could build our own. Plywood's kind of expensive, but it'd probably be cheaper than buying your own. I think we're gonna build a princess castle bed. The sheet of plywood behind me needs to be cut at 78 inches. My rip fence goes to 49. And while 49 is extremely capable, it is not 78 if my calculations are correct. So, what do we do? We hang it off the edge of the skinny side of the table saw. And it's incredibly dangerous! If you get some roller stands, it should be doable. I've only got two. I think I need four. So we're gonna go to Harbor Freight. So I've got the first sheet of plywood sliced into three and seven eighths inch wide strips. And uh, the design calls for trapezoidal strips that are three and three quarters. So now we get to take all 12 of these back to the table saw, not once, but twice. How many, that's 24 more times. So that, and then we have three sheets of this. So that's a total of 36 cuts per sheet. We've got another 72 plus 24, man, we've got our work cut out for us. This is gonna suck. Man, it's gonna look good if it works out. It's gonna look great if it works out. But I'm perfect, so of course it's gonna work out. Why would we ever doubt this wouldn't work? Okay, so this is the dodecagonal prism taped and glued and dried up from last night. This is not a regular dodecagonal prism. This is almost a hand decagonal prism, which is 11 sides, but due to the table saw being ever so slightly inaccurate, the effect multiplied itself 12 times, removing the 12th side. However, a sliver remains, justifying the term dodecagonal prism. Here's by far my number one complaint with this $200 table saw that I love to praise and, you know, appreciate, but man, this is so annoying. So if you want to change the angle of the blade, good luck, Chuck. I mean, you've got a plastic knob, which sits around, you know, a steel nut, but it's a plastic housing. So that plastic housing is officially stripped out, worn out. It will not adjust that. I have to use this handy dandy wrench. And it's horrible.
behind me, we've got the finished bed. Ellie is downstairs. She came home last night and uh, she was kind of sick, so we just kind of hid the bed from her. We went to better reaction. She actually already saw the bed, but uh, <laughs> gonna film this major reaction, so she has not been near the bed. This is exciting. My mom got some trim painting done last night, so it looks really good. Okay. <laughs> I want to go up the stairs. You want to go up the stairs? It's the stairs, right? Yes, those are stairs. Good. Is it dry now? Oh, it's dry. It is all ready. Good. Is it dry now? It's dry now. Oh, look at that house. Awesome. Look at that house. Awesome. I'm waking. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Is that cool? Yeah? Mm -hmm. You like the upstairs? Oh. Huh? We can play up there. Daddy, go up here with me. Okay, I'm coming. Don't broke it. I won't break it. Daddy, Daddy, don't broke your head, okay? Okay, I won't break my head. 